Hello everyone and welcome back to Stite Right. In this video we'll talk about a very simple concept that you might have seen a hundred times if you're working with React JS. JavaScript is quite common, but it is is something that can be confusing for beginners, especially when this question is asked in an interview. It's quite simple to see. We write a lot of times when we write code, or when we write from the net, so we see such code examples. But sometimes we ignore that okay, these two approaches of calling a function can have slight differences and are meant to be used in different situations. So in this video, we'll talk about when and where you should use these two different types. You must have already seen the example in the thumbnail what I'm talking about. I'm talking about how you can call a function. I'm talking about style of calling an event handler, especially when you use event handlers in react.js application. So as you can see on the screen, I have a simple form in which I have an input field and on change of which I have called handle input change function. This is the handle input change function. It will expect an event. Event is the triggered event which is the on change event and if I do e dot target I can get access to this input field so this is basic stuff right we all should know about this if you're working with react js what we are here to talk about is this style so if you have worked with react js you must have seen this style of calling functions as well especially in case of event handling right so you have seen this and seen this and now if you think that okay these two are same then you are right and wrong because yes these can be used interchangeably and the same operation can be performed using both these styles but there are slight differences that you must know because an interviewer might ask you that okay what's the difference between these two and when will you use this one and when will you use this one share one scenario with me so then you should have a better answer then okay ye same hi hai. so in this video we'll talk about those differences so see in this case here on change we have handle input change ko call kiya hai. this is an example of directly calling this handle input change function here we are not even passing the event but over here we are handling it right so this is the default setup where automatically javascript will share the event with this input function so we don't have to do anything specific and inside of this if i do console.log e.target and just let's comment this part so what i will see is if i do any changes to this you will see that the entire input field has been passed as part of the event target and if i do e.target.value or e.target.name i can access the different attributes over here so this style works like this this is a basic default setup right this is an immediately invoked function as soon as the field input changes this will be invoked on the other hand, if I have some use case where I want to pass in some argument over here to this function or whatever function that I want to use for my event handling, I want to pass some custom arguments to that. Then in that case, this one makes more sense because over here what I'm doing is inside of on change event handler, I'm creating an arrow function which is internally calling this event handler. So this on change will trigger the execution of this arrow function and the E or the event reference will be passed to this arrow function not this one directly and over here this function is normal function to which i can pass any argument for example i can pass this e dot target dot value right now it will just take in the value directly so handle input let's make another function for this one value now over here we are getting this value is ki tarah yahan pe hum event jo tha wo nahi mil raha we are getting the value right so that's the basic difference yahan pe kuch bhi ho sakta hai yahan pe multiple values bhi de sakte ho chaho to e dot val target dot value ho gaya name bhi de do ya koi aur custom aapko kuch aur kuch calculations karni hai so this style can be used also jab hame on change pe koi function call karna hai but usse pehle mujhe kuch custom operations kuch logical statement execute karni hai for example i can have multiple code statements over here as well i can maybe perform some operation and then have some argument value and then pass it on to this handle input yahan pe by default directly event jo hai wo pass ho ja raha hai yahan pe mere hath mein hai i can act on this event and then call the handle input or whatever event handler function i have and pass on whatever argument i want to pass so that's a basic difference in this case one additional arrow function is being created on each render so ye thoda sa costly hai this is more efficient as compared to this one because here one additional arrow function is created all the time on each re-rendering but whenever you need to pass additional arguments then this style should be used because as you can see a function hai jo on change pe call ho raha hai internally hamara jo handling wala hai wo hum call kar so we have con complete control on what we pass on to this one if we have to you know see how this one works so quickly if i do this you will see this is also working perfectly fine handle name abhishek allows so you get directly get the name of the input field so for example if you want to do this as well e dot target dot name you want to send in another attribute so you can expect two parameters over here name will obviously 
b so let's change it to full name so now the name attribute will have the value full name so if i change anything here you will say full name and abhishek lawat so that's how you know these two uh, approaches differ slight difference but yeah you should know what the difference is so that's it for this video this was a small video but i wanted to share this because a lot of beginners sometimes ask me this question over dms ki yaar what is the difference between these two so i thought you know let's create a quick video to share this with you and i recently received a dm where the individual mentioned ki yaar ye mere se interview mein pucha gaya aur main sahi se bata nahi paya so i hope this video will clear your doubts and in the next interview if you are asked this question you should have a crystal clear answer for this one thank you so much for watching this video if you like this video give it a thumbs up if you have not yet subscribed to the site right of the bishek channel please do it press the bell icon share the video with your friends who are preparing for a react js interview if you have any confusion or any doubt please post in the comment section below and if you have any suggestions regarding videos please share the topics with me as well thank you so much for watching the video see you in the next one